so how is the mizoram government planning to promote tourism in mizoram hmm. mizoram government headed by the uh, you see legendary leader mr zoram thanga is so committed to promote tourism in mizoram and it is universally accepted that mizoram is unexplored paradise there are lots of untapped tourism opportunities in mizoram so <coughs> uh, the government of mizoram has enacted mizoram responsible tourism policy in 2020 and this is the first of its kind in india also so we are planning to make tourism responsive and also <coughs> uh, you see more participatory for the people i'm sure that with the, these legislations and all the subsequent uh, formulations of rules regulations guidelines norms etc mizoram is all set and mizoram is ready to start comprehensive uh, you see <coughs> development and sustainable development in the field of uh, tourism during planning the planning the planning commission time also uh, the planning so commission has uh, has given uh, you see a focused uh, attention for promotion of tourism in mizoram and even the niti ayog and other planning institutions in india have <coughs> you see truly uh, recognized the potentials which are available in the tourism, tourism sector of mizoram the only issue is that these opportunities these uh, tourism facilities and potentials are still untapped unexplored so i would like to <coughs> Uh, you see impress upon the government of india and also the regional planning body that is nec to see how they can help the state of mizoram in exploring the tourism opportunities which is there in abundance and as for mizoram government also we are trying very hard and we are trying our level best so that these tourism potentials given by the nature be tapped and fully exploited uh, the rugged hills of mizoram the blue mountains the clean rivers and also of the clean air are a blessing not not only for the uh, residents of mizoram but for the people coming from outside of mizoram and outside of india also i would like to take advantage of this opportunity that more people not only from northeast but also from the mainland of india and abroad may come to mizoram and enjoy the virgin forest and the clean air the beautiful people here in mizoram so that more and more tourists will come and ultimately the people of mizoram will benefit out of tourism sector okay you said that uh, mizoram government is going to organize tourism mart mm. can you please brief us on it yeah you see uh, the government of india ministry of tourism has already decided to host international tourism mart in mizoram to be concise uh, from in in the first week of november 2022 and it will be the first time that mizoram hosts such a big event and um, the department of tourism government of, government of mizoram also uh, has uh, given due importance and significance for the successful hosting of this big mega event and we would like to uh, make use of this opportunity 
to showcase the various tourism products in Mizoram. And we make organizing committee comprising of all important departments under the chairmanship of the Honorable Chief Minister of Mizoram. And <clears throat> I am sure that this ensuing um, International Tourism Mart will mark the beginning of tourism development in Mizoram. So, Government of India is organizing this yeah. tourism mart yeah, yeah. in Mizoram. Yes. Who will be the see, participants? Uh, the, the, the Government of India, Ministry of Tourism, in combination and in partnership with the state government, will organize this International Tourism Mart. Who are going to be the participants here? The participants uh, will be from uh, overseas and also from uh, India, Northeast, even within Mizoram also. And this uh, ITM, International Tourism Mart, has been organized annually on rotation, on rotation basis for the Northeast states. And it is always uh, impactful and impactful and you see in, uh, important factors for st starting the growth of tourism in other states as well. So we are lucky enough to have the chance to host this ITM thanks to the Ministry of Tourism also. And I, I am sure that uh, many tourists and also tourist promoters uh, you see, travel agents, tour operators, and officials and non-officials who are having stakes in tourism will come together and share our uh, experiences and B2B discussions will be there, fairs and uh, entertainment programs will be there, also exhibitions and sports events, cultural events, international music festivals, all uh, will be there in a comprehensive manner. It will be a big extravaganza uh, for the youth, for the tourists, for the locals as well. So I am <coughs> I am very hopeful that it will be an unprecedented uh, ITM in terms of, you see, volumes of success and in terms of participation and in terms of variety of programs. Now, you have said about tourism. For tourism, you need good connectivity. Yes. We have seen that ISOL is connected by only a few flights. Mm. So when this festival will take place, mm. uh, won't you expect more flights to operate in this sector? Exactly. You see, we have in <coughs> Uh, that's with the civil aviation department also, and in fact, more flights will be there in the near future. From the near future, I have been told by the principal consultant of civil civil aviation department that flights, even in Sunday, on my request, uh, will be there uh, shortly. So daily flights will be there from. Delhi direct from Calcutta, from Gowati, and also additional flights will be arranged uh, if the uh, demand is there. I am sure that demand will be there because of ITM. And these ITM celebrations will be, as I told you just now, will be the beginning of the su such event and more and more <coughs> activities and this uh, uh, longer duration of festivals during the f winter period will be institutionalized and this will be epoch making actually. Thank you very much. That was Mizoram Sports and Tourism Minister Mr. Robert Romaya Marte speaking exclusively to Northeast Life. Reporting from Aizol with camera person Binod, this is Arindam Das for Northeast Life. Thank <laughs> you.